Player vs. Player is a competitive experience that lets you challenge other players in combat. It requires not only individual skill, but teamwork and games since they succeed. There's no skipping and being good, but there are some things that can accelerate your growth. In today's video, I'm going to give you the top 5 tips that help me drastically improve as a player. Starting off with number 1 of the list, choosing the right loadout. Loadouts! First of all, how can you win if you're using a fork to kill people? Arguably, one of the most important things in PvP is your loadout. For this, mainly you want to choose weapons that complement each other. Some examples of these are sniper and shotguns with a 140 hand cannon, snipers and SMGs, and scouts and pulse rifles with a shotgun. The idea is to have your other gun cover the weakness of your main gun to pair well with each other. For example, a sniper may need a closer range weapon like an SMG. These are the fundamentals of build crafting. Next, you want to use the right subclass slash class you want to play for these weapon types. I would recommend playing what you find fun, but some suggestions starting with Titans is Bubble and Thunder Crash. These seem to be the most competitive at the moment. Warlocks, I'm going to recommend Well and Nova Bomb. However, Shadefinder is great, but requires heavy mastery. And Hunters have free reign, as they're all equally good. Some of my favorites include Strand, Void, Tip number two coming in is map awareness. One of the most important skills is to be mindful of the map. Map awareness not only lets you know what's happening around you and in doing so get better engagements and minimize deaths, but also know what the enemy team has. What I would recommend is being mindful of how good players play. Watch Panda, Walla, Castle's Content, Cami Cakes, Rocks League, any of the four mentioned before just now. I would recommend watching and seeing what lanes do they play, what weapons do they use, where do they like to engage, how do they engage. Things like these will elevate your game sense. Both on zone, both on zone. Oh, they're both here, they're both here, bro. Nice. Coming in at tip number three, communication. Sometimes you don't have to say a lot to be effective. I would recommend having your calls be precise and quick. If you are downed, do not spectate your teammates instead spectate your ghosts to see where the enemies are, explain their location, their movements, and their current gun they are holding. This will help your team and it will make you a better teammate, making you win more games. On top of this, make sure you have communication that's clear on what supers you have up so that you know better effective plays to make at the current moment. Tip number four is my favorite one. Master your movement. Movement is key. It's personally my best skill and also one of the most important. Movement helps you take less shots, hit more shots, and lastly win more games. First thing you want to learn is each class jump for titans. I'm going to recommend this video on skating by Roxley, linked up above. For warlocks, you're going to want little skates. On Domblade, you're going to want to master Domblade skating. However, stairwell skating is also very important. Hunter. Bounce your head across that roof with strafe. Movement is so much more than just running and jumping. Learn how to play different slides, peak corners close, peak corners far, and take more aerial engagements and chain your movements together. It will make you much harder to kill and it will make you more scary on the field. Tip number five, practice mindfully. Last but not least, tip number five is the most important, and that is to practice mindfully. When learning something new, you'll take the theory, play around with it, and have the dots connect. Think when you play with intent. If you play with intent, you are mindful of the decisions you are making, and it will help you get that down to memory. Remember, you'll take two steps forward, one step back. Your play sessions, you might be streaking out, then you might not be. But one thing is, as long as you are playing with intent, you will get better and you will see it drastically. You might notice your growth more than you have after watching this video. Those were my top 5 tips for PvP. I hope you take some of the information from this video and implement it into your own gameplay. If you have any tips, make sure to leave them in the comments below as I am summarizing a lot of the information in this video. And as always, play inspired, play with purpose. And of course, like and subscribe, it will mean a lot, and it's free.